Hello everybody, it's me, Tuna. Did you miss me? We are back for the not quite penultimate Vlogmas. I'm hoping to get two more videos in after this video, but I haven't filmed for, I think, three, maybe four days at this point. Am I feeling a little rusty? Maybe, but we'll just pick up where we left off as if nothing has happened but things have happened i had a lovely holiday weekend i hope that you did too in addition to eating pizza and christmas dinner and spending time with mark who i don't get to spend a lot of time with because he works two jobs i played like 60 percent of paper mario 64 and you know what if i had my way i'd be playing the other 40 percent today so <laughs> what i'd actually like to do today is get out of the house because i have been rather cooped up which is not like me but it is pouring rain right now now we have this on the uh, forecast for the next few days and not my favorite weather, gotta say. So instead, I'm just gonna stay home and get back to work, which is what I really should do anyway. <laughs> All right, so today we're gonna focus on one thing. I have one more reward to do. Actually, technically I have two, but I have one more reward to do that I actually have to produce for my big lunch club this month, being December, of course. Now this reward I've waffled back and forth on a little bit as to what exactly I wanted to paint, but it is going to be a print reward. And I've landed on doing a semi-realistic painting of Mr. Nori, who is asleep to my left here. My theme this month has been murder mystery and the whole kind of running joke of the rewards is that Nori killed me. It's very cheesy. I don't. I think I talked about it before as to how I landed uh, on that particular theme, but what I try and do when I set my themes for each month is take a base idea and put a twist on it. So for example, instead of just doing a theme that's cryptids, I did a theme that was cryptid seeker society. So it was about not only cryptids, but the people who are hunting them, searching for them, maybe they're protecting them and <laughs> conservationalist cryptid seekers. And so for this month, I did the murder mystery and then the spin that I ended up putting on it was that I was the one who was killed. It's very funny if you ask me. But I am looking forward to doing this painting now that I've landed on something. This piece is gonna be inspired by a few different creators that I follow online. I don't exactly remember their handles. I don't wanna butcher it, so I'll just pop them up here after the fact. So that's gonna be the approach that we're gonna take. I'm also gonna try something new, which is I have this little like, it's a wooden board, it's very lightweight, it's not the usual wooden board that I'm used to, and it's covered in this, um, I don't know, like plasticky kind of layer? I actually bought this when I was living in Ireland, like what feels like 10,000 years ago now, <laughs> which is only about a year and a half. <laughs> and I lugged it all the way back to Canada because I was like, I bought this, I am committed to finding something to paint on it, and I think today is going to be the day. So I'm going to start by gessoing it just to make sure that the surface is primed to take the acrylic paint. And then we're just gonna, we're just gonna try, try and make it happen. I have a photo reference of Nori that I'm going to use. I'm gonna put a couple of color related twists on it. And yeah, we're gonna make ourselves a cute little print. I'm also gonna finish up the entire process of scanning, editing and formatting, and then ordering the print because there are some Boxing Day sales I would like to take advantage of as well. I'm gonna need these in the next two weeks. And we know everyone's operating a little slower this time of year than usual. And I have a lot to do this week. I had it in my head. I was like, oh yeah, week between Christmas and New Year's. Psh, I got nothing going on. I can kick it back, take it easy, but I can't. I actually have a lot of fun stuff to do. So let's get going. Let's stop wasting time. Let's paint. He sneezed.
So not to be hyperbolic, but I'm pretty sure that this is the greatest thing I have ever painted. <laughs> when I first started laying things down, things were going very unusually. You might have noticed when I did the first layer of lavender and I started to put the black on top of it, that the lavender was like not quite dry and it was reactivating as I was putting the black on. At first I was alarmed and then I realized that it was actually working remarkably well to the effect that I wanted to capture with this painting. Obviously this is kind of a semi-realism approach with some fantasy color and a lot of texture, which was what I was going for. I'm not sure if it was the gesso underneath or what exactly was causing the paints to dry slower than they usually would, but it totally worked out. So yeah, this is my favorite painting and it's mine and usually I sell my paintings, but this one is going up on the wall, I think. But don't fear, I am making prints. By the time that you see this, you're only gonna have a couple of days left to sign up if you'd like one, but this is for my big lunch club over on Patreon. You've seen me producing some stuff for that over the last month here. And I think heading into 2023, I want the gouache paintings to be kind of an almost monthly feature. I have so much fun doing them. People respond really well to them. It's nice to be able to make the content, make the videos, make the reels. I feel like with every painting, I get a little bit better. So, you know, might as well keep practicing, right? I'd also say it was nice to be able to do something that was a bit of a shorter project. Uh, this was two hours, not bad, right? I think as an experiment, it was ultimately a success. I would love to work on these paneled boards more often. And this like semi-realism fantasy color style, as I'm calling it, is something I've done a little bit of recently. I did it in the cookies painting that I did and the mushrooms painting that I did just before Vlogmas began. And moving forward, I want to be able to do both this style and my more flat cartoony cell shade style. I think having that diversity is going to benefit both styles in a weird way. The next step is we are going to photograph this, we are going to import it into Photoshop, we are going to make sure it looks good, we are going to submit it to be printed, and I might make a demo print, we'll see how things go. <laughs> All right, that's it for the vlog today. I know it was just making one painting, but it's a pretty fabulous painting, so I hope you enjoyed. Like I mentioned, we're gonna do two more Vlogmas videos, hopefully, and then we'll see what January has to offer us. So thank you again for being here. See you next time.